Hey everyone, this is Paul Gale here. I'm with the Novin Falcon. It's a really cool new piece of technology. I'm going to try to explain how it works. You have this fully functional 3D device. This piece right here clips off and it could be used as a gun, which I'll get to later on. Half-Life 2 works for it, other games are coming out. This right here is the ball. Now, if you remember when Nintendo had the N64 Rumble Pack back in the day, how cool that was. Well, this is like the next step forward. I'll try to explain as best as I can. When you hit the button right here, this one in the middle, kind of like the Game Super Control's A button, that starts the demo off. Right now you're moving around, there's no feel, there's no real difference to it. You can feel a little bit of the ball, but as you can see it says no texture. Yeah, this right here is bumpy. Now, if you see my hands, how my hands jerking back and forth, having a little bit of difficulty moving. As because on the screen, my hand, this little cursor right here, see where it is, right there. As it touches, it's rumbling. It's sending like different gyrations through the controller, left and right, and, like a full 360 degrees. So it's not just one jolt. It's actually all the way around. I'm moving my hand in a circle as the circle is going around on the screen. Very cool. This piece of device is on retail stores now, as of the last three weeks. And I'm going to show you the next one. This is very jaggedy. It's like if you had a, a steel glove and you're moving over rocks. That's a good way to describe it. Okay, this one's molasses. Now, it's very gooey. See, it takes a while. Like I'm pushing it in and out. If I touch the ball and move it around in the circle, it's like I'm stirring it, like stirring a pot of honey almost. Actually, the, speaking of honey, there's a honey demo in here too, and that feels even different than this. So it's got a lot of sensitivity, a lot of variety. Hey, okay, this is ice. If you ever put your hand in like a, a glove so that you don't feel the coldness, you don't feel the temperature of ice, but feel the texture, this is exactly how it feels. Pretty sweet. It's like I'm carving into ice but I can't quite get this knife through. Sandpaper. This is really neat. The slower you go, the more resistance you feel. I feel like you're actually rubbing against it, just like with other things. You can see my hand. I can scratch it fast. Very cool. This is magnetic. No, you don't get shocked, but you feel as if you are getting shocked without the pain. So the controller, it becomes very unstable but intelligently unstable on purpose. My hand's moving back and forth and sliding all around. And no, I don't have any nerve damage in my wrist. Just, that's what it does to you. Very cool. Rubber. Now it feels like you're trying to poke inside of a ball. Like you got a rubber ball from a toy store. Pretty much what it is. If I come with a mouse or the cursor rather on the outside, and I'm bouncing on it, you can see my hand stops in one spot. And I'm bouncing the ball. Next one is sand. It feels uniquely different than sandpaper. It's like there's a lot of tingly little bricks in there, I guess you could say. You can stir it around. It feels slower. Very tactile. There's also games too, like I said, Half-Life 2 is on here. The game, the Novin Falcon, comes with two different packs. One's like sports pack oriented, another one's a uh, different type of mini game. Really cool. They got baseball, golf, and quite a bit more. There's about 20 to 30 games in the pack. Comes on one CD. This is Honey. As you can see, I'm stirring my hand around with resistance. 
And this is back to no texture. So there's quite a bit of variety to it. And it's on store shelves now, so you should check it out. That's the device. It's pretty cool. How much is it? It's 239 MSRP, so it's pretty affordable. You think about it, it's uh, cheaper than most next-gen consoles, and if you want to hook it up to your PC, more games are coming out on the way, so check it out. E-For-All Expo 2007, day three. Thanks.